finally here, the highly anticipated sequel to the legendary novel To Kill a Mockingbird. For the bookstore business, it could be a savior. At Rainy Day Books, we got these cute little buttons. This day is anything but gloomy. I love the cover. The new novel, Go Set a Watchman, is a ray of hope that great days in the bookstore business are still ahead. We've taken the most pre orders for this book since Harry Potter. The Fairway Bookstore ordered several hundred copies of the To Kill a Mockingbird sequel. Owner Vivian Jennings hopes to sell most of them in the first few days. I love to see excitement generated about reading. And what what a great experience it can be to read a really uh, an interesting book, a thoughtful book, or just a fun book. Jennings opened this store 40 years ago. Since then, she's watched several of her competitors close their doors. I think we have to work smarter. We do have to work harder, but I think we also have to work smarter. And I think we're doing both of those things. In the age of e-books, some readers stay away from stores that sell real books. If it's a business that you want to make a lot of money. This is not the business. But today, many of those customers are back to get their hands on the next great American novel. This is one of those books that has an emotional connection. And usually when there's an emotional connection, the real book, the organic book, we call it, there's just a part of that that you don't want anything between you and that experience. When the doors open, Amanda Dernal is first in line. I've taught the ninth grade for about 10 years now, so I've taught To Kill a Mockingbird. Now she can't wait to read the sequel. It depends on how long the baby will nap. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try to probably read it in the next day or two. A busy day or two for the bookstore business. A little sunshine at rainy day. We love talking to people about books and you know getting people excited about reading. And Rainy Day Books has sold about 275 copies of that book so far, including the pre-orders. And the owner, Vivian, read the entire book last night. To see her review, just look for this story on KSHB.com. She liked it, Krista. And it's worth